get hired even if I have no prior experience? The answer is yes. Um, there's a big demand for entry-level uh, workers. Now this is gonna be, you know, the bottom of the barrel. You'll be, you know, junior, stewardess, whatever, a deck hand, maybe like a, a stew cook or a deck cook or some kind of variation of that. Um, but yeah, there's uh, plenty of positions that don't require experience. Um, you know, that you get your experience as you're working and that's how you kind of move up on the ranks. But, um, you know, experience is definitely not required. Um, you know, the most important thing when you're starting out in the industry is your attitude, your ability to work hard, to work well, you know, how strong you are, your stamina, and your ability to get along with the crew and your willingness to learn. I know that's kind of a lot of little things, but these are all the most important things. This is what you're going to be judged by, by, you know, a captain or a potential employee and, you know, like by your fellow crew members because, you know, you're going to have to start somewhere and you are going to get trained, you know, the more you work, you're just going to be constantly learning and every boat is different and while there is 1,000 different tasks to do, you know, on any boat, they all tend to have their own way of doing it. So they like to bring in somebody with a completely clean slate, um, what you call, you know, green, a greenhorn, someone who really is like a true beginner. Um, they like to bring you in like that so that they can kind of train you to their own standards and do the things the way that they like it. Because one thing that really uh, is kind of a pet peeve of a lot of, of yacht vet veterans, a bunch of um, one thing that is a big kind of issue is when you are joining a new boat and you kind of already are set in your ways and then they want you to do thing one particular way, you know, the way they always do it and you kind of like butt heads with them because you think your way is better or is you're just, you know, so used to doing it that way and so a lot of boats really do kind of prefer you to not have any experience and then they will train you to their standards. Um, so, no, you do not need to have experience. You just need to be willing and able to learn and work hard and have a good attitude. I would say that is more important than any prior experience. And there are a lot of um, skills that, you know, translate into yachting, land-based skills. But, you know, to be honest, um, once you get on a boat that really doesn't matter so much. Um, you're going to have to kind of relearn everything, start from the ground up. Um, but you know, any kind of skills like hospitality service, that's great. Silver service, how to, um, you know, water sports, and then any kind of like cleaning and detailing and maintaining and mechanical things, that is a big bonus. Um, other things that kind of translate over into the yachting industry, maybe if you're dealing with children, if you have like babysitting or maybe masseuse, and some yachts even like to have people who have experience in yoga or physical fitness. Um, cooking is great. I mean, there's a lot of skills that will help you in the yachting industry. They might seem you uh, make you seem more appealing than other people, you know, in the sea of resumes who may not have these these land-based skills. But at the end of the day, you could come from programming computers into the yachting industry, and as long as you are, you know, physically able to do the work, willing to learn, and get along well with the crew. That's going to be more important than anything that you've done in your previous land-based life.